in the name of Allah who is the most beneficent and the most merciful the anglo-saxon or old english period 670 1100 the earliest phase of english literature started with the anglo-saxon literature of the angles and saxons the ancestors of english race much before they occupied britain english was the common name and tongue of these tribes before they occupied britain they lived along the coast of sweden and Den- denmark and the land which they occupied was called england these tribes were fearless adventurous and brave and during the later years of roman occupation of britain they kept the british coast in terror like other nations they sang at their feasts about battles gods and their ancestral heroes it was in these songs of the religion wars and agriculture that english poetry began in the ancient england while britain was still a roman province though much of this anglo-saxon poetry is lost there are still some fragments left for example bridset describes courts visited in imagination by a far wandering poet the splendid fragment called the fight at finnesburg deals with the same favorite theme of battle against fearful odds complaint of deer describes the disappointment of a lover the most important poem of this period is bobul it is a tale of adventures of bobul the hero who is champion and slayer of monsters the incidents in it are such as may be found in hundreds of other stories but what makes it really interesting and different from later romances is that it is full of all sorts of references and allusions to great events to fortunes of kings and nations there is thus a historical background after the anglo-saxons embraced christianity the poets took up religious themes as the subject matter of their poetry in fact a major portion of anglo-saxon poetry is religious the two important religious poets of the anglo-saxon period were cadmon and sinwulf cadmon sang in the whole story of the fate of man from the creation and fall to redemption and the last judgment sinwulf's most important poem is the christ a metrical narrative of leading events of christ's ministry upon earth including his return to judgment which is treated with much grandeur anglo-saxon poetry is markedly different from the poetry of the next period middle english or anglo-norman period for it deals with the traditions of an older world it breathes the influence of the wind and storm it is the poetry of a stern and passionate people concerned with the primal things of life mood melancholy and fears yet with great fidelity the anglo-saxon period was also marked by the beginning of english prose through alfred's translation from the latin a common available prose was established